You can stand before the devil and tell him no. The reason is because there is no accusation that he has against you that has a ground. He can be, he may be chasing in your dream as I'm talking now. They may be doing many things. What you need to understand is that Jesus has done something that negates every charge that permits any spirit to have authority over you. If it's a curse, he took your curse. If it is sin that opened the door, he took your sin away and when he takes your sin, he washes you and then the penalty of sin, he has borne it. You can't bear the punishment of your sin. So no demon should say he has access. If he got access to come in because you did something wrong, you have the right to kick him out because it, there's no record of that thing by reason of what Jesus did. If it was, you know, if the devil said he did something, something happened and then like if it's family covenant, you have been redeemed. The Bible says we are new creatures. The day you became born again, you were born anew. The old you died. He said, if one died, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14, for we thus judge that if one died for all, then were all dead. The old you that belonged to your mother's family died the day Jesus died. Because in being born again, our lives are backdated to the cross, to the death of Jesus. So we have died. New me is alive. Born of God, not of my mother's blood. I am separated. And you have to, if you don't rise up to challenge the devil with knowledge and understanding, he will never leave you. The devil doesn't leave you because, oh, please go. Or because you woke up and you are sad. Who cares? That's when they are excited and laughing. 